Yes lads and ladies, how's it going? Max here and today welcome back to another match review. Spurs just beat Watford in the Carabao Cup 2-1. No, that was wrong. We're going to keep this short, simple and sweet. We won on penalties, finally. It's nice to win a game on penalties. Gaz, the main man in goal for Spurs, he's vastly becoming loved at Tottenham because he hasn't put a foot wrong, made some saves in the penalty shootout and just overall is growing in confidence and hopefully we see more in the future. But diving straight into it, obviously not a bad lineup, quite a strong one. Watford had a mediocre side and obviously that success guy causing problems up top. But we had Toby and Davison Sanchez at the back. You feel confident, you feel like we shouldn't be conceding, ended up conceding two. Kapue scoring late on with a deflected goal to get a Watford goal. And the other Watford goal obviously being success, which was annoying. And obviously I'd, I would have said probably a bit against the runner play, but... From the, from the second we kicked off that second half, obviously Spurs players weren't awake and obviously needed to get that out of their system because I thought we were growing in confidence in the first half and the goal was probably coming, but in some ways it worked because it woke them up because obviously that woke us up. We got Lamella on the pitch, he was just doing bits. I feel like this is his season coming. It's going to... There's, it's just opening doors for him this season. Things are actually going his way. Hey, let's just pray he doesn't get injured. He scored an absolutely brilliant goal, flicked it over Gomez, put it in the corner after Dembele. Passed him through, quick counter attack. That was a brilliant goal. And obviously, the other goal, obviously, being the penalty from Deli Alley to put us one up. Should never have even gone to penalties. And you know, it's such a Spursy moment if we ended up losing that game. But I had, I had faith in this man right here, and he won us the game, scored from the spot in the game, scored his winning penalty to win us the game. And that's it, that's that. Spurs marching through. Uh, Lorente came on late, obviously. And whenever he comes on, I just don't feel confident. I'm not going to lie. And I'm sure that goes to you boys out there as well yeah whenever Lucas goes off we seem to win apparently there's some sort of stat about that so whether that's true or not I have no idea but you know what it's just a relief I think someone also said that's our third penalty shootout victory since the 1980s now that is absolutely that's an incredible stat England winning the same year and Spurs a penalty shootout something to tell my kids going forward now that's something special I'm gonna come back to this video in like 20 years time and just think what that what the hell yeah but yeah Penalty shootout one. When I saw Lorente coming on as well, I was just like, oh no. Just like every other Spurs fan in existence. Unfortunately, Lorente has that has that vibe on you. You just think, fuck, why are you coming on? Now we're going to lose. Especially when he comes on for Lucas, who's been one of our best players all season. But excellent to see Son come on and obviously make a difference like he normally does. Then Bele playing a vital role towards the end. And obviously nice to see Harry Kane get a much needed rest. So moving forward, we're going to end it at that short and sweet. I've told you about the goals. We're into the next round of the Carabao Cup. Hopefully it'll actually be, I was going to say at home, it'll probably be at Wembley. Who do you guys want to get? Do you want to get Chelsea? Do you want to get West Ham? Do you want to get Arsenal? Who do you want? See you guys soon for the next video. Take care. Call you Spurs. Bye-bye for now.